The opinions and statements made on the Josh Bernstein Show are solely those of the host and do not reflect those of any of the show's advertisers or sponsors. President Trump could cure cancer tomorrow and rescue kittens from a burning building, and they'd still call him a piece of I don't want to drain the swamp. What I want to do is I want to drown these swamp monsters in their own swamp water. And now, America's favorite bald badass, Josh Bernstein. Welcome back to the program. So far, there are 18 states that are threatening to have President Trump removed from the ballot for the 2020 election unless he relinquishes and releases five years or more of his tax returns. Those states are Arizona, California, Connecticut, Hawaii, Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, Maryland, Minnesota, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Vermont, and Virginia. All of those states that I just mentioned have introduced, either in the beginning forms of this legislation, they're either through one house or two houses in the state legislature, or they've even possibly been signed into law, like it is in New Jersey. Uh, they, have in, they have introduced this type of legislation that would require, quote, all future presidential candidates to disclose their income tax returns in order to be placed on the general election ballot, end quote. Short, simple, sweet. This is what most of the language of this legislation is in all of these states. This is what it says. It's a very short piece of legislation. And they are trying to pass this legislation. But there's one question. And that one question is, how do we fight it? And is it even legal? Well, I would say it is not legal. And I will give you two Supreme Court reasons and judgments on why it is unconstitutional and illegal for these states to do what they're trying to do. Okay? The first one is Anderson versus Celebrezzi, 1983. John B. Anderson was running for president in 1980 from the state of Ohio, and Anderson's supporters filed a nominating petition to the Ohio Secretary of State's office. However, the Secretary of State at that time, Anthony J. Celebrezzi, rejected the petition, stating that it was not filed in time by the 75-day deadline prior to the presidential primary. It then went to the higher courts, the state court, and it was ruled uh, against, and then it was ruled for, and then it was finally at the end went to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court upheld the first decision, which basically said that the federal district court in Ohio said that the ruling was unconstitutional, citing that it was a violation of the First Amendment, and it also violated the Equal Protection Clause under the 14th Amendment. The reason, number one, it placed a higher burden to petition the government, in a shorter amount of time. And number two, the deadline was earlier than the required deadline could be by candidates in the major parties. So in other words, they were trying to basically push out uh, a lesser known candidate at the time. The second case was Williams versus Rhodes, 1968, whereby independent parties, and yes, even a socialist party, filed a lawsuit against the state of Ohio. Once again, the state of Ohio was part of this uh, for not allowing them on the ballot. <clears throat> Both major parties sued to keep the smaller party off of the ballot, citing expired deadlines by they, <clears throat> excuse me, by they required the right amount of ballot signature requirements. The Supreme Court then ruled once again, citing violations of the Equal Protection Clause under the 14th Amendment. However, 
This is what they added onto that decision. They wrote this. Furthermore, the Supreme Court has found and ruled that it was illegal and unconstitutional for any state to alter or change national ballot requirements or qualifications. Boom, mic drop. So the bottom line is you cannot change because it is unconstitutional, you cannot change the requirements of the national ballot qualifications for a presidential election. So what these states are doing is illegal and unconstitutional. Democrats do not have legal standing to force Trump off of any of the ballots, regardless of whether or not he releases his tax returns. Furthermore, their legislation is as useless as tits on a bore, and I would say not even worth the paper that they are written on. And finally, he will be on the ballots in all of those states, and there ain't nothing that these Marxist dirtbags can do about it. Because all he has to do is file petitions and lawsuits against these states that pass these this type of legislation, it'll go to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court, which has a history of using precedent, will look at these two cases, possibly even others, and rule against the states. That, I can assure you. What are your thoughts? Please put it down in the comments below. We'll be right back. The farther a society gets away from the truth, the more they hate those that speak it. I want to thank you personally for watching my video. I hope you enjoy the way that I do my show. Uh, it is uh, a unique way of doing it. I give you all the facts. I give you everything. I'm a truth seeker and a truth teller. And for that, I am also a target. And this channel is not monetized. How do you know it's not monetized? Do you see any commercials running? Are any commercials interrupting what I'm doing? No, they're not. So please help me monetize this program. YouTube has shut me down from being able to make any kind of monetization on what I'm doing and my efforts. So basically, I'm taking the arrows, I'm taking the risk, and so far, putting it out in my own pocket, putting it out there for everyone, and not really getting compensated for it. So please, do me a favor. If you like what I do, go to patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein. Again, you can see it in the image www.patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein. Put five, ten dollars uh, a month on my Patreon. Uh, it's not a, an expenditure, it's an investment. It's an investment in future freedoms, it's an investment in prosperity because I eat, sleep, and breathe protecting this nation. And remember, in times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. Thank you and God bless you.